what we are going to present at our EHA 25th uh, Virtual Congress is the uh, sequencing of novel agents in relapsed refractory uh, ALL. Uh, as you're aware, recently, over the last few years, approved medications like planetumumab and inotuzumab for zugumycin has really changed the landscape of uh, relapsed refractory ALL treatment with significantly better outcome compared to conventional chemotherapy. So, and the indications are same. Uh, both drugs are used for relapsed refractory ALL patients. So given the effectiveness of these agents, there's always, this might challenge to uh, physician, clinicians, which agent should we, we choose first in terms of effectiveness and toxicity? So we did this uh, multi-cohort analysis uh, involving 11 academic uh, centers across USA, in which we try to understand, evaluate the sequencing of novel agent. Does any one of these two agents is better than the other? So we had a reasonably uh, uh, well uh, sample size of 276 patients, in which we tried to evaluate, compare the effectiveness uh, in terms of response rate, uh, in terms of safety profile and uh, uh, sustain, sustainment of response and uh, survival outcome. Uh, so uh, what we found out when uh, these agents like Glena and Intuzumab uh, is chosen as a first novel agent after progressing of induction chemotherapy, which is mainly a conventional chemotherapy, the outcomes were comparable. Like both the agents were able to give a remission rate around 67%. Uh, and uh, the incidence of drug treatment discontinuation due to adverse events were also comparable, like around 4% uh, with the Blena and 7% with Inutuzumab. Interestingly, these uh, discontinuation rates are relatively better than what is published in the pivotal trials. If you talk about the Tower trial or Innovate trial for Inutuzumab, in which the Re treatment discontinuation rate due to adverse events was around 11%. So our hypothesis is that the less discontinuation rate probably because more awareness among treating physicians as well as uh, the preemptive strategies, how to overcome these toxicity and how to improve uh, uh, the tolerability of these agents. Uh, so in, ter off, in terms of uh, toxicity and response rate, this duration response is also comparable at the first novel agent. Uh, so uh, when these agents were used as a second, uh, like there's a proportion of patients, around 60% of patients, 60 patients who receive both novel agents after progressing on conventional chemotherapy, uh, 40 patients of those receive Eno as a second novel agent and 21 patients receive Blena as a second novel agent. Even as a second novel agent, after progressing on first novel agent, either Blena or Eno, the response rate were uh, strikingly better than conventional chemotherapy in the range of 50%. So as we all know, uh, with successive progression in relapsed refractory ALL, the response rate diminishes with time, ranging from 40% to 20%. But with these novel, novel agents, the second uh, novel agent therapy, uh, the patient were able, 50% of patients were able to achieve a uh, response rate after failing a first novel agent. So that is really... Uh, uh, interesting observation we had. Uh, based on this, and the duration response was also after progressing on first novel agent was well, in the range of 10 months uh, with Blina and now uh, 5.9 months with Eno, though it, it wasn't statistically significant due to small sample size and uh, earlier approval of Blina and most patients receiving Blina as a first novel agent, but it's still a comparable outcome. So in conclusion, I would say that uh, both these novel agents can be used as a first or second based on tolerability and based on patient individual profile uh, with significantly improved outcome compared to conventional chemotherapy. Uh, so that was the concluding statement uh, of our uh, study.